don't make things is my thing. I'm Herbie. Don't make it high, fellas. Put your Donald Trump emotional distress stabilizers away. Yeah, that's right. I want to be a little more proactive today than just pissing and moaning about Donald Trump. I want to address an environmental problem that we can actually do something about. That's right. I'm talking about the proliferation of that menace to our environment and particularly the ocean and the creatures that live in it, plastic bags. Yeah, that's right. Now, you know I like to call Donald Trump a big, fat, stupid, mean, narcissistic sack of orange maggots, right? Right. Well, just imagine that that sack is a plastic bag bag full of maggots, and after he's done spewing all that maggots and polluting the airways and polluting people's minds, you got yourself an empty plastic bag that just gets thrown away and either lands up in the landfill, which is bad enough, spewing all kinds of toxic chemicals as it lays there in the ground for 500 years before it decomposes, or worse yet, it blows off into the ocean. Let me demonstrate. Imagine Family goes down to the beach, they're having some hot dogs and, and popcorn and maybe a little macaroni and cheese, apple pie, who knows what. And they bought their groceries at the local alphabet with some plastic bags and they just go blowing away. Out into the ocean, out to sea. Well, that happens over and over and over again all over the planet. Pretty soon, all those plastic bags are plugging up the air holes and the buttholes of all God's creatures swimming around in the ocean. And we got to do something about that. Now, ideally, we'd quit manufacturing the things altogether. But I don't see that happening. But what we can do is make sure that they're properly recycled. Because most recycling facilities handle hard material, like hard plastic, like bottles with lids and stuff like that. and grind those up. Or aluminum or metal or whatever. But plastic bags get the machinery all screwed up. There are places, however, they can recycle it. You just got to make sure that you take them to those places. Matter of fact, what you do is you take all your plastic bags back to the supermarket that you bought them from, and they have displays set up there, and you put them in there, and that way they get properly recycled and made into something else out of plastic. But to give you a really artistic, metaphorical visual on this, I'm turning the rest of the show over to my cousin Jerry. Now, the piece I'm going to create today is a metaphor for the ubiquitous plastic bag, which gets out into the environment, out into the ocean, where it ends up in the intestinal tract of mammals, and when it finally does disintegrate into little tiny microplastic modules, it gets into the food chain and a lot of animals mistakenly eat it as food and it kills them. Or it doesn't kill them and they are caught and then consumed by human beings and those plastics go into the human beings. So I thought it would be appropriate to underline the absolute necessity, if not to quit manufacturing these altogether than to at least make sure they are recycled. And what better symbol for recycling than aluminum? Nobody would think of taking an aluminum can and carelessly throwing it in a recycling container that may or may not get recycled or, God forbid, letting it flow down the beach into the ocean. So I would like everybody on the planet to think of the plastic bag as an aluminum can or bag, thoroughly and completely recyclable and worth it to do so. This is the first plastic bag that I have transformed into an aluminum bag, so please bear with me.
there's a certain amount of R&D involved. Voila! Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but Jerry, how can that be properly recycled, mixing the aluminum with the film plastic? Won't that cause issues at the recycling center? Well, you're right, it would. However, this is my new hat. Until next time, this is Jerry saying, make sure you take all plastic film and plastic bags to the proper plastic recycling drop-offs. Most supermarkets will do just fine. And before I go, I want to leave you with this mental picture and visceral feeling of outrage. By the year 2050, the net tonnage of plastic polluting our oceans will outweigh the net tonnage of fish.